Hey, why is there a clown motel in the middle of the Nevada desert? Who runs this place? Why did they build it? Why clowns? Is it actually haunted? Those are the things I want to find out, but first, I gotta get here. Can you please take care of my husband at this terrifying hotel you guys are going to? Yeah, I'm ready for adventure. I feel fantastic. Courtney just put a uh, holy oil on me. Holy oil? Yeah, it's all over my forehead. <laughs> Let that one sit. One of us. There you go. One of us. <laughs> wow. It smells nice. I have no idea what we're doing. Have you had a clown at a birthday party before? I don't think my birthday party. One of your friends in Westchester had a clown. <laughs> I mean, I, I remember I had the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles come to a party of mine that was pretty lit. And as an adult trying to bring, bring kids happiness is all fair and fun, but it is kind of creepy. <laughs> yeah. All right, let me tell you about this place. Yeah. Eight hours from Los Angeles, in the middle of the Nevada desert, lies the world-famous Clown Motel. Built next door to the old Tonopa Cemetery, it's a clown-themed motel and has been named America's Scariest Motel. Yeah, yeah. Who's the market for this? Yeah, who? Us? The motel gained increased notoriety after several YouTube groups, including the boys, filmed paranormal investigations there. Soon after, Brent Rivera and Faze Rugga also made videos there with identical thumbnails, which we're sure is just a coincidence. People seem to think the hotel is haunted, which is not really of interest to me. We're gonna leave that to the professionals. Open to the public in 1985, original owners Lenora and Leroy David conceived the hotel to honor their late father, Clarence David, an avid lover of clowns. It seems like a rough house to grow up in a little bit, with all that clown stuff. Like, your friends don't want to come over. It's kind of sad that they did this because their dad loved clowns, and now people are like, oh, it's haunted. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like, no, my dad just really loves clowns. <laughs> Ten years later, the motel sold to Bob Perchetti, who operated it for 22 years until he put it up for sale for $900,000. Overpriced. That's like Clinton bucks, too? <laughs> Two years later, Vijay Mahar purchased the motel and appointed Hame Anand, his family friend and former art director, as CEO. The middle of nowhere, check. Clowns, check. Next, Next to, to a hotel. Cemetery. cemetery. Check. Anand gave the motel a facelift and increased its collection from 600 clowns to over 2,000 pieces of clown memorabilia. Now, the hotel is a hotspot for paranormal aficionados and YouTubers alike who flock to investigate its purported hauntings. I actually can say confidently, I think that there's no motel that has had less sex. <laughs> no, dude, this is like hot stuff, bro. You wanna f*** the clown hotel for sure, dude. I think you check off your bucket list, it's like on a plane, <laughs> in a creepy space, check. <laughs> With eight hours of driving, there's lots of fun things to do on the way to Tonopa, and I'm not just talking about the snacks. Two corn nuts? We took a quick shopping detour and found some really, really good stuff. They do have a hoodie of Chucky, who's the most iconic clown. Is Chucky really a clown or a doll? Shit, I don't know why I was like, oh, it's a clown. No, it's a doll. Chucky's a fucking doll. There was a lemon house right off the main road. I was curious and the door was unlocked, so I, I let myself in, but no one was there to tell me about it, and the office was empty too, so after a few minutes, we kept on the journey. One of the roads was closed, which... No! <laughs> turns out that, yeah, it was for a good reason. I think we have to go that way. <laughs> There's a place called Nightmare Rock, which I don't know why they call it that, because if you ask me, it looks pretty cool. It has like eyeliner. And that's just some of the things you can find on the road to Tonopa, Nevada. Oh, are you, you're peeing? Sorry. Okay, now we have to do an ad because, well, clown videos don't pay for themselves. So after the break, we arrive at the clowns, but first, some Keith. Today's video is sponsored by BetterHelp. Now I'm not clowning around when I say that life sometimes gives you too much to juggle. Enter BetterHelp. 
BetterHelp is online therapy perfected. I was doing so well! <laughs> you can't juggle everything in life and you get really frustrated. And it's hard to know what to do with that frustration. A really great option is talking to people about it and therapy is the best way to do that. BetterHelp, you just fill out a little form, it'll match you with one they think is perfect for you. So you can talk on the phone, you can video chat, you can text with them. And guess what? If you don't love that therapist, it's really easy to go in and find a new one. Personally, I needed to talk to my therapist recently when some friends of mine went on a road trip without me. Clearly, I have some things to unpack about that. Now, I'm not really a clown. I don't have a clown license, but the therapists on BetterHelp are licensed therapists. They have over 30,000 of them. They're available worldwide. Thanks to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. Visit betterhelp.com slash tryguys. That's better H-E-L-P. There's a link in the description below. You can click that. You can get 10% off your first month using code tryguys. Join the over 1 million people taking charge of their mental health through BetterHelp. Now back to those clowns, Quasi and Zach. After 10 hours of nonstop driving, we arrived in Tanopa. Look at that. Cool. Hell yeah. Hello, good morning. <laughs> How's it going? There's so much clown stuff. To whom this concerns, I am sending this clown to add to your collection. All I know is he is from a hospital and is not friendly. This is why I have him wrapped in a blessed rosary. But he's adorable. I I think he's cute. What the hell? What is this? Uh, we are checking in. Are you a big uh, clown fan? Yes. Really? This is Christopher. I see you, Tony! We're gonna be spending a lot of time with him. <laughs> He's been working at the motel for a year and a half, and like everyone in town, he couldn't wait to prove to us that this place was haunted. Tanopa has a dreaded history of disease and mine collapses, claiming many lives at the turn of the 19th century. Most locals are convinced the entire town is haunted. So you do think it's haunted? Oh, I know it is. You know it is. See the little handprints now? See where she kind of messes it up? Holy crap! I saw four footprints. I want Our EMF meter started going to five. Charlie, you gonna play games tonight? Boom! I get my arm yanked and I swear that somebody was touching my elbow. Different random things that are unexplainable. And I had a ghost like touch my ear. Nobody here, he's here. Nobody here, now he's here. When you when you say a ghost touched your ear, what exactly does that feel like? like somebody puts your finger in your ear. Wow. You know that there are ghosts here, why do you keep coming back? I ain't scared of no ghosts. <laughs> you might be asking yourself, what are the accommodations like? Well, fear not, because we got the best room. Uh, room 107, Fear Unlimited. They said it was the scariest room. <laughs> oh my, look at the window. Oh my gosh. Here's the thing is that if this is, it feels a little on the nose. Uh, yeah. With all this, my mind turned back to the owners. Who are the people that made this place? How's it going? Did we, uh, are you the owner? Yeah. Owner, uh, we, I'm Zach. We, uh, one of my producers reached out to you. Uh, so we would love to talk to you guys later, uh, or tonight, or when's best for you. 9.30. Yeah, that works. Yeah. What time is it, like 8 o'clock? 8.30. Okay, great. Yeah. With a few hours to kill, we were hungry to learn more. Who stays here, and who runs it? Lucky for us, Christopher was down to talk. I was actually traveling in my RV. I've, uh, just 
get odd jobs now. I was a firefighter and doing a lot of duty. When Christopher wasn't trying to convince us about ghosts, he shared with us his deep knowledge and passion for clown history. Okay, you know where the history of clowns came from, right? I don't. So we have original Bozo there and there. Look at the difference. See, happy clown, not so full of makeup. But then you gotta realize too, these are also from other countries. Back in, you know, the early 1900s, I think, when all it was was carnival. And then when you go to the circus, the clowns were there so that this way you didn't. So now people think, oh my God, clowns are gonna hurt you. And then what does Stephen King come do? He makes it, it. <clears throat> Pennywise. So Stephen King just, just traumatized a whole generation. <laughs> Pretty well that in the news. Yes. As much as I love, I'm sorry, am I No, 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 no you're, you're good. As much as I love Little Clown and I feel very comfortable in there, you got a room that the air conditioning works. You're, you're, a, you're a, a regular. Yeah, yeah. Do you mind if I ask you a couple questions? Sure. We just want to know people who love about people who love clowns. It's not the clowns, man. It's a comfortable bed and it's a dive and tone of pop. I come down here for work. Okay, right. right? On. And I really like to be able to pull right up to the room. What do you, uh, what do you do? I'm a geologist. Oh, sick. Out here exploring for lithium right now. There's lithium, gold, silver, copper, molly. We can get molly here? No, not that molly. Oh, oh my bad. I live tonight. <laughs> <laughs> so what's your favorite room to stay in when you're here? The one I'm getting out of right now, yeah. usually 110. No clown? That's what I call it, it's 110. Yeah, it's a nice, comfortable room. This is know? way nicer than our Super room. Super nice. I love the duct tape holding everything together. Oh, hi, little clown. Oh, wow. Oh, it literally says, little clown. Yeah. Somebody's kicked this door in before, right? That's what makes that's what makes it real special. Oh yeah, no, I don't know. Yeah, this is different. Good luck, man. Somebody pulls you out of the bed in the middle of the night. Yeah, we'll help you. Uh, we'll help you move to your next room. I have been in this one. So these are the two rooms that I alternate between. The beds are surprisingly comfortable. I'm stoked. That's the creepiest one. The dude with no face with his jaw ripped off. I like that. Oh, I love the old volcano movie yeah. where it erupts out of the briar, the, out of the tar pit. That one was well, called Volcano, I think uh, it was. I uh, have a cooking show called Without a Recipe People Really Love where we oh, try yeah. and cook something where we don't know how to do it. And then this is gonna be for a new series. Meatloaf. 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 Every meatloaf's different. You'll never have the same meatloaf. You can't make the same meatloaf twice. So we should do Without a Recipe Meatloaf. Yeah, meatloaf. I would totally watch that. Okay. My wife loves meatloaf. We met a couple who was touring rooms to decide where to sleep, and they agreed to have us tag along. So wait, why? Uh, what brings you guys to the Clown Motel? We actually had no idea. We were just cruising through town. Yeah. Because we're coming back from Birdie Man. Oh, you, you, you survived. <laughs> well, yes. The best party was when it was all muddy. We went out one night. It was just super wild. Uh, we went to a bar where they were doing foreskin shots and vagina shots. Sorry. <laughs> I feel like that would burn the people. It does, apparently. Yeah. After helping them decide on a room and landing a perfect I joke. I feel like, you know, you only clown I'm once. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I understood more why people would stay at the motel, but I still needed to know who would dedicate their life to owning it. Uh, do one of you mind clapping? Just helps us. <laughs> helps us. I mind, what's okay? Ooh. Both of them were great. Helps us sync up the uh, cameras. Do you guys love clowns? Yes. We love, we love, we love clowns. <laughs> Tell me why. Clowns uh, are happy. I guess if I if I think about it, I'm I'm kind of a clown. Oh, okay. You know, I I, I make people laugh online, and I'm I'm yes, sometimes yes. sometimes I'm misunderstood. You know, the Stephen, Stephen King changed everything, you know, he after... F he you know, f it all otherwise, up. Otherwise, the clown was always a happy character. So should we, like, like, f f screw keep Stephen King, right? The whole India loves clown because, you know, it's the character who makes you laugh. Are you guys both from India? Yes. I mean, I feel like this is kind of the American dream, right? Of course, like, yes. Sir. You make a, a motel uh, that is a tribute to something that you love. You know, my grandma used to say, whenever you're down, look at the clown, you don't have to be found. <laughs> so look at this. <laughs> this came from nowhere, uh, nowhere. Do you want me to get that? Sir, no, no. Hello, Clown Motel, this is Zach speaking. Okay, so clowns make people happy. But there was still the specter of this whole purported haunting thing. So after trying my best to not make a ghost hunting video, 
we agreed to have Christopher guide us on an after hours graveyard stroll. So I'm going to use the voice box for a little bit and then we're going to switch back and forth to uh, the other one. Okay, so when you guys notice as we're coming down, you notice it's getting a little bit chillier. As we walking, it's, you're gonna feel like really cold in certain spots. That means there are ghosts. All right, so we're not here to hurt anybody. We're just here to communicate with you. Now, as we're going through here, father. Anyone here father? I'm kind of like the internet says I'm a daddy. <laughs> now, if you go to any cemetery, have you ever seen someone put food out like apples uh, lettuce or whatever like so, like so, I, I, I have candy should I go get my candy no I have corn nuts <laughs> no oh. 696 <laughs> Ghosts. Ghosty ghost. we're not here to hurt you we're just here to communicate with you if you want to communicate should I tell them that I'm here to hurt them will that make them <laughs> no <laughs> we're here to hurt you <laughs> let's not say we did Hey Sheriff. Hey Sheriff. How you doing tonight? Hey Sheriff, are you with us? We just want to say hey. It's 2023. It's yeah. Late. I mean a lot of stuff has changed since you've been around. Twitter changed to X. Yeah, Try Guys are only three people now. Um, but we have other friends. No more horses, no more horseback. Horses exist. We they just sheriffs. I mean some some sheriffs. I don't want you to think that horses went extinct. That that would be. How come ghosts don't come out in the morning, yo? Don't, go, don't haunt me till I've had my first coffee. <laughs> <laughs> On the way back, we actually did find a ghost. Oh my god, it's going off. There it is. It's actually going. Did you guys see that? It actually went off for like a second. You're a cool human being. Who? You are. I try to be. Yeah. <laughs> You're a cool human being. Try to be. <laughs> <laughs> James Dean over that, here. That was the coolest shit ever. After hanging with Christopher for the day, what struck us wasn't the paranormal, but rather the humanity. I was a firefighter, first responder. I got so beaten, they stabbed me. All my hands are broke. Everything's broken. I can't close the hand anymore. I have problems with my left side of my face. Life had dealt him some tough cards. That's why I tell everybody I live my RV and I travel. I get jobs and I lose my job because of medical reasons. Yeah. So now I just found a great job that they work with me. But here, because of the clown motel, because of clowns, he was happy. They're good bosses? They are. I, I actually love it. That's cool, man. Clowns <laughs> make people happy. I think my fear coming in here today was that I was going to meet you guys and this was going to be, be very clear that you were just doing this to turn a profit. So if you're talking profit, okay, let me let me clear this. He didn't have penny in his pocket. I don't have penny in my pocket. We have no, pro no profit. We are putting back in this motel. We just wanted to make this place big, 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 big. My brother does everything is handyman. This is what he did. This is beautiful work. I'm the artist, I do the art part. Art you part. did the painting. So this is like, this is me. This this is, is, wait, this is not hand drawn. Yeah. This, yeah. Is, this, this is you right here. Yeah. It's hand drawn. This is, yeah. It's oh. hand, -drawn. hand drawn. So you're telling me this spooky ass place is a labor of love. Yes. <laughs> you're right. So you, you draw some spooky shit. <laughs> and that idea, love, a place as weird as this, it can't exist without it. How uh, how'd you two meet? How long have you been married? This is your story, Mama. So every Thursday, I, I, I was single, you know? So I go to the bar and sing karaoke. I go down and sitting at the end of the bar all by herself, this lady in the green dress, and I couldn't help myself. Big wheel, keep on turning. For a place that's so centered around death, I think it does actually remind you how to live and how to live a life led by passion. I mean, they, they made a clown motel because they love clowns. I left with such a full, like, heart. Have a good night, brother. See you night, guys. So is the clown motel the scariest motel in the world? Only if you're afraid of falling in love with humanity. Not with e each other. We didn't, you know, we're, <laughs> we're just friends. <laughs> Word. By the way, can I show you? Can I show you right there? Yeah. 
Clown adjacent. Yep. Clown. Yep. 